Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I just went to check on the ants because eventually I want to move Liz's colony into their new home. But Olive has disappeared. Now, when I came here, there is a tiny gap at the bottom of this cotton thing. I don't know how well you're going to see it. But it worries me she may have escaped. Now, I have been filming way before this. I actually um, wanted to check if she had eggs or anything and she just didn't. They live above Ziggy's tank, so... I mean, I don't think she's fertile, but what if she's now in Ziggy's tank somewhere? I'm just going to quickly investigate throughout the test tube to be sure, but it's not looking great. So, I've taken all this out. The other side of this is just water. Sorry, this is totally out of focus. I'm trying to film and do all this and hold a light with one hand. I, I can only assume she's escaped. As I said, like... She hasn't laid eggs at all, so we can hope she's infertile, that she would need at least another male to actually lay eggs. I really hope she's not living with Ziggy now. Whilst I go and look in Ziggy's tank, it will be very difficult to actually find her, I'm sure. Um, but whilst I go and do that, I'm going to play you a time lapse I filmed a few days back when I put a bit of cricket in for the uh, ants. I know someone suggested it, cricket legs, they've got a cricket leg in there now, but I had a freshly dead cricket so I thought they might want to eat some sort of softer part of the cricket. Um, so yes, enjoy this and also there's a close-up of Liz there as well. I have had a look around Ziggy's tank, of course it's near impossible to find anything and uh, it, you know, Olive could have also gone in Minnie's tank over here. Um, she could have gone down the back behind, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, this is completely bad lighting, behind here which then drops down to a bookcase. If there's no moisture there she could have just died. Um, I wanted to look around the water bowls in particular because there's some moisture there. Obviously the heat she would like in here, but there are so many tiny little things she could be in. Um, and I honestly think just because she hasn't laid eggs in possibly like almost a year maybe? I'm not sure. Um, it looks to me that she shouldn't pose a problem with my geckos. I think she'd probably die off sadly. But what an end to Olive. Okay, so I took apart Olive's test tube. I can't find it anywhere. Um, so we have to assume she is gone. Um, but for now, I'm going to take out this cricket leg, add in some honey, and hopefully tomorrow I'll move them into their new home. One thing that concerns me though is their water is really running low here. So I don't have to move them into a new test tube first. So it's the next day, I've prepared a new test tube and I've put this on the end. If you remember the house they go in, this is a connector. Um, last night I spent the whole time just thinking about Olive, where she is, what's happened to her. Um, because maybe she wasn't laying eggs because in the test tube it wasn't in the right conditions and she's moved into a gecko tank and it's now perfect conditions. Or like, we got everything off of here and moved it the other side of the room to clear off and everything. As you can see, it needs another clean. And I remember the cotton coming out a little bit, but I thought I'd squished it back in. She could have escaped over the other side of my room, where there's just carpet, you know, there's not much else. It's just a mystery, and I hate, even though she's just a queen ant to some people, it's just an ant. Um, that was still my pet for a while, and I'm, like, trying to find it. I'm gonna have another look around the gecko's tanks, don't worry, but it's like trying to find a needle on a haystack like an ant in dirt so I'm gonna be doing that but in the meantime I need to connect these so Liz and her colony can move into a test tube with lots of water um I have some really really sucky news so this whole move was going really really well I put them in a light room but you know not direct sunlight not too hot yesterday they're all moving in the workers have moved in really well 
This morning I went to check on them and Liz isn't moving. <sighs> I really just wanted to get her out and see if I could revive her but I know that would stress out the workers and they might try to escape. Like we have a load of workers and it was looking so good like all the workers had moved in there they started moving stuff in there. I just don't know what's happened and it really really sucks. I brought them into a different room like one of like our cooler rooms. It wasn't like too hot out there but like I thought maybe you know a bit cooler but <sighs> so I don't know how well you can see this. I got the, all the workers in one test tube with Liz. There's actually some sort of fluid underneath so I don't know if that's from condensation or that's leaked but that could be the culprit. Also, now all the workers are covering Liz, whether they think they're trying to protect her or they're actually eating her, trying to get her out of the nest. <sighs> Oh my god guys, so basically I was looking at this trying to figure out where this water has come from and it looked like there was a leak just down here. So when this was flat, it was kind of tipping the water in here and that's what Liz was in. So I thought, okay, I can't just leave them like that. The workers, you know, I can't leave them like that. So I got a cotton bud, went in there, pretty much absorbed, like swept out all that moisture and tipped the test tube more this way so it would all leave. Now there's a very good chance that I have wiped out some of the brood, let's face it, but they may have died because, you know, there was a lot of water there. But whilst I was doing this, Liz started moving again. Like she's not dead. So what we need now is for them to move into this other test tube where it's nice, clean and dry, and then we can have a better look at Liz because she is definitely alive, I checked her. We may have accidentally taken out some of her brood, as I said, they were probably already dead, but it's good news with the queen. So as you may be able to see, the new test tube in here is slightly elevated and in the dark. So all this water should run away and not leak into here again. And hopefully this time they will move. I am so happy to see her alive, oh my god. Okay, so the whole colony have been in another room and they have not moved. But you may be able to see that tons of workers, tons of brood still. The queen is fine, but I've moved her back out here because it's cooler, it's hopefully a bit brighter, and hopefully it will encourage them to move. So it's about just gone 9 a.m. There's a lot going on, so there may be some sounds in the background, but I thought everyone had moved, and then I just realized the queen is still in there. There's some condensation again, so some water has leaked back in here. And so the brood and a lot of the workers have moved, but the queen hasn't again. <sighs> They've all officially moved, so now we can start to prepare them to move into their new home. So I wanted to move the ants into their new home and I was adjusting everything like I thought you had to try to follow this in these instructions and I... Well, this happened. Oh. Oh, I broke my nail and this. So, very fortunately and very generously, Anke actually sent me a new toolkit so I'm gonna have another attempt at adjusting that ant home but they also sent me their new one which is in blue you can get them in a range of colors I'll leave the link below let's just try to pop this out so this is it in blue if you wanted to know and there's also a few little accessories that it came with so they gave me a water towel which I'm so happy so thank you to them because I really wanted one of these. I like when you can like actually put the water somewhere and you know that they're getting enough, not just relying on the test tube. So we'll pop that in their new home. And we have some test tubes, tweezers, some cotton. So, oh, and a little key. Oh, cool. So I think that's everything, but very, thank you so much to Ant Kit for helping me out. I'll leave, oh, we're out of focus. I'll leave the links below. So just as an example, I've just noticed that the bottom is different. So the white one, you'd have to adjust with that tool that I broke. You could pop it out and you had to put a little ring thing around the test tube to get it to fit in. Whereas in this one, you may notice, I think the test tube just slips straight on. This is adjusted by that little thing that I said with like the key thing. Um, it seems a lot more just easier, less clunky, I guess. I may actually move them into this. Okay, so I have just set this so 
the there's a bit where they can extend and I believe I blocked it but to be on the safe side I'm gonna put a bit of cotton there just you know just in case we don't want any escapees the other thing I did sort of realize with this is obviously the test tube that goes here has to fit so I'm really hoping the one I'm using fits otherwise we will have to use the other ant house next yes perfect fit right there this is literally on its side so I'm gonna do like I'll be honest it is a little stressful for the ants because I've just had to take off this ring um that wasn't easy and and now I'm very slowly rotating this so I don't totally mess up their nest but that has fit in there really nicely now I am gonna end this video because I feel like we have literally been all over the place we lost Olive I thought Liz had died and now they're all moving into a new home <laughs> it's been a lot today but i hope you've enjoyed this video if you do like ant videos please subscribe i try to upload maybe once a month like an ant update and the next one will definitely be about how these guys are getting on in their new home but anyway thanks for watching guys and goodbye